Hello, my friends. Action figure junkie back with you with another custom action figure made from Marauder Task Force parts and accessories and a smidgen of Hasbro thrown in for good measure. You know how I do. This is actually a um, custom made by me that isn't based on an original action figure. This is a, um, a gray ninja. He could be G.I. Joe. He could be Cobra. He's most likely a Rashikage, but he's fluid. He can go either way. <laughs> In that, I mean, he could be bad or good. Not what you're thinking. Anyway, so let's get down to basics. Here we go. So the head is where I got the first inspiration. The head is um, it's from a 25th anniversary Hasbro G.I. Joe pack that was uh, the uh, Apprentice Snake Eyes and the Hard Master. And the snake eyes came in like a really cool gray ninja outfit. Very similar to some of the uh, previous Storm Shadow molds, if not exactly the same, with the, uh, the head being similar to the red ninjas, only it's gray. So this is snake eyes in his pre GI Joe form. So I took that gray head and I thought, I really gotta use that head on a ninja because it's just so ninja looking, basically. So I went with the, uh, the Marauder Task Force, uh, the body, the uh, uh, black with gray accents. And then I fitted him out with the, uh, the gray uh, uh, harness strap, added some uh, pretty awesome grenades. He's loaded up with grenades. I uh, kind of went in a little different direction with this guy and didn't give him a sword. I mean, you could, I have plenty of extra backup swords and I could, uh, you know, fit him up with one, but I kind of wanted to make him um, the uh, archer. You know, we have uh, some great archers in the GI Joe canon, like Storm Shadow especially, but I just thought he would be a little bit different, a little bit unique with a cool uh, bow and arrow. So the, uh, the, the quiver here comes with, um, Oh, hell, let me forget. I believe it was a Storm Shadow or possibly the Spirit, the 25th Anniversary Spirit. And the, the same as the, uh, the bow, the con the, that really cool compound bow, which has got all the bells and whistles. That looks like a really amazing bow. I just loved it. It doesn't look like your, your basic uh, old school samurai one. It looks like something that, uh, you know, Hawkeye in the movie of the Avengers films would use. So then I... Um, I didn't give him any pistols or any guns because I just kind of wanted to shy away from that with him. This guy is more of, a, of an old school traditional archer in that he, uh, that's what he does and that's what his specialty is. Went with the uh, black uh, accents on the gray and the gray accent on the, on, the, uh, on the black. So pretty much everything on him other than his cool little green grenades, and I could have gone with gray grenades, but I was like, I just need a tiny bit of color to pop somewhere, somehow. I went with uh, all gray and black. He's really kind of basic, but he's, um, he's a cool figure to me. The only thing he's missing that I'm seeing right now is probably an Arashikage uh, water decal right there on that on that right uh, armor plate. I'm sorry, left, uh, left armor arm. <laughs> right or left, whichever. I can't decide. So um, maybe I should have done that before I took the video, but you know how I am. I'm not the most super professional and hopefully that's why you watch my videos. Um, yeah, that'll be funny. Sometimes I'll be making a video and looking at a figure who I thought was 100% done and now I'm making a video for you guys and I'm looking at it and going, Oh, I should have done this. Oh, I should have done that. Well, this is one of those cases. But I like to let you guys in on the way my wine works because, I, you know, we're all action figure collectors and, you know, we kind of think the same way. I'm sure that there's, uh, if there's anybody watching this video, they're probably thinking the same thing. Oh, I would have done this. Oh, I would have done that. Well, I welcome you to do it, man. Do whatever you want. It's your figure. It's your Joeverse. So that's... Um, that's pretty much it. I gave him some dry brush painting, as you can see, to show a little bit of wear, a little bit of tear, like he's been in a few fights now and then. But other than that, that's pretty much it. I really appreciate you watching. Appreciate you checking out my videos. Please feel free to uh, like and subscribe. Um, hit me up on all the socials, Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, 
I'm even on Snapchat, and I don't, I don't show pictures of uh, anything other than toys. I know that's probably not going to get me a lot of followers because I'm not showing uh, nudity. <laughs> or maybe it will. Who knows? Anyway, thanks for watching. Love you guys. And as always in part, and maybe we should do both because we don't know who this guy is. We don't know which side he's on. Well, that just sounds terrible, but whatever. <laughs> Have a good one, guys. Thanks.